Manny Pacquiao is running for Senate in the Philippines, and recently he was asked what his current views are on same-sex marriage. Now, back in 2012, he had to apologize after he had some choice words for the gay community. Of course, since he's deeply religious, he doesn't believe in equality for gay individuals. Well, his recent statements about gay people were not nice either. Uh, he said the following. It's just common sense. Have you seen any animal having male-to-male -male or female-to-female -female relations? If you have male-to-male -male or female-to-female -female relationships, then people are worse than animals. Okay, let's just talk about how fundamentally stupid Manny Pacquiao is. So you, the good people of the Philippines are going to elect this guy to be a senator. Jesus Christ, I feel bad for you and your Senate. Uh, don't get me wrong, we have a, we're filled to the room with idiots in the U.S. Senate, too. Um, of course there are male to male and female to female relationships in the animal kingdom. You schmuck, at least Google it before you talk. It's, so you now you're in politics, right? You're running a political campaign. Mm -hmm. Didn't any of your probably thousands of advisors, given how much money you have, didn't any of them say, hey, oh, no, don't say that, that's really embarrassing. Mm -hmm. Actually, in the animal kingdom, there's a ton of bisexual sex, even much more so than in, in among humans. Chimpanzees have sex with each other to no end, male, male, female, female, male, female, nonstop. Penguins have more male uh, to male sex than, than humans do. And he, that is such an unbelievably ignorant statement. And by the way, I mean, God, are there no reporters in the world? You got Manny Pacquiao, this moron in a press conference, saying stuff like this or in an interview. Why don't you ask him a follow? First of all, that's not true. Mm -hmm. So, secondly, uh, about the penguins who have gay sex, do you think they're going to hell? He probably does. No, um, and get the moron to say, yeah, I think there's penguins are going to go to hell. They'll be particularly miserable there because they really like the cold. <laughs> okay. Um, well, look, I, I don't look. I don't live in the Philippines. I just know what I've read about the Philippines. I actually have a really good friend who lives there as well, and it, it is a deeply religious country. So they haven't moved as far forward as the U.S. has when it comes to gay rights. And by the way, the U.S. still has to move forward when it comes to gay rights. So I think this kind of speech is kind of starting to get rejected, which is good. Manny Pacquiao had to apologize after he said this, which is good. Um, but at the same time, there is this anti-gay you know, mentality among a lot of people living in, in the Philippines right now because of its religious you know, beliefs. Okay, look, uh, I don't, I've, as anybody who watches the Young Turks knows, I, I'm very adamant that you don't hold everybody in a religion responsible for the beliefs of the fundamentalists of that religion. Okay. Now, at the same time, I also say, look, there is a cultural war going on. I've been saying that for <laughs> over a decade on the Young Turks. That's the one thing I agree with Bill O'Reilly on. There is a cultural war, and generally, in the long run, we're going to win, and we're in the middle of winning now. When I say we, I mean the people on the side of reason, science, facts, etc. O'Reilly's in a panic over that here in the U.S. He should be in a panic because he's on the losing side, the one with no facts. Now, in this particular case. Well, I'm going to ask the people of each of those religions to take your religion back if you believe the pr correct interpretation of that religion is a positive one, mm -hmm. right? So that applies to Muslims. Hey, you, you got to, now that doesn't mean every Muslim is responsible for some idiot jihadist. Doesn't mean they have to apologize for the jihadist, mm -hmm. but engage in the culture war. Say Islam stands for science, and we led in science for about a thousand years throughout the world. Make that argument. I don't really care because I'm not in your religion which side mm -hmm. uh, is more correct in their interpretation of the Quran, mm -hmm. right? In this case, in the Bible, if you think that it is the more religious thing to do to be more hateful, well, how do you expect other people to like your religion? I mean, what does that say about your religion, right? So, again, all the religions are guilty of this, but he happens to be a Christian, he's Catholic, right? So, what am I to think of Catholicism if you tell me? Being more Catholic means I hate gay people more. I want to discriminate against gay people more. Well, then that means your religion is more hateful. Mm -hmm. Well, if you're a good Catholic and you believe in a, a positive interpretation of the Bible, then have that fight with Manny Pacquiao on the ring, okay? And say, no, 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 Jesus brought love to the world, right? And the whole point of the New Testament is to say, put that junk from the Old Testament behind. Make that argument, win that argument, engage in that cultural war. Yeah, ironically enough, the Pope's been making that argument, you know, and he's gotten a lot of heat for that. You know, mm -hmm. he says, why don't we shift our focus away from hating gay people and helping the poor? And there were some members of the Catholic Church that didn't like that message. But that's really what 
you should take away from religion. Religion isn't supposed to be interpreted literally, right? right. So. And every Catholic doesn't have to apologize for Manny Pacquiao. You don't have to prove, yeah. you know, anything. You don't have to be, you know, uh, uh, interrogated. You don't have to be profiled. And the Pope speaks for Catholics a hell of a lot more than Manny Pacquiao does. Mm -hmm. But there is a battle of ideas, and you should be uh, on the side of reason and and logic and decency. Even if you think I'm deeply religious and I care more about uh, faith than I do in. I mean, I don't want to paint in a negative light, but facts and mm -hmm. science. Okay, and there's value in faith, right? Well, say that faith represents all the good things in the world rather than the hatred.